guys, it's Grandma Cheap Cheap. Today in this episode, I'm coming um, with a new recipe. It's uh, chicken and waffle sandwiches. Back in the East Coast, chicken and waffles is very popular, especially in the New York Harlem area. And since I'm into my spring cleaning, I didn't want to... Um, bring out the waffle maker and fried chicken and and so forth that's just too cumbersome for me right now so I'm gonna make an easy version of uh, chicken and waffle sandwiches um, don't forget to um, apply for the down home with the Neely's cookbook the giveaway ends tomorrow February 29th 2012 at 3 o'clock Rocky Mountain time and I'll have that right out to you on Thursday uh, I only have a very few uh, subscribers so y if you want it your chances are very good and I'll just keep on giving away um, things that I come across that I think you might like until uh, my spring cleaning is over so uh, for the chicken and waffle easy sandwiches, what you'll need is Eggo waffles. I have the buttermilk kind. It's not. Uh, it's just the regular Eggo waffles. Honey mustard, mayonnaise, and then uh, the maple syrup. Um, so this will be kind of like a breakfasty, lunchy type thing, but I'm going to have it for my lunch. So first of all, to get started, I'm going to put my Eggo waffles in the toaster. I'll set that aside. My um, remaining ingredients will be um, roasted chicken from the deli, lettuce, and tomato. You can also um, have onion on it, whatever you want. Um, it's it's up to you, but I would, didn't want any onion. This is it. But um, I've already measured out two teaspoons of honey mustard, a teaspoon of um, the mayonnaise, and now I'm going to give it a little sweetness, waffle sweetness, with about two teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of, um, I have light butter syrup here. So I'm going to mix that together here. And this is going to be your uh, dressing for your sandwich. I really like using uh, the waffles as your bread because it, especially the buttermilk uh, Eggos, because it gives it such a different taste than a um, sandwich, uh, than a regular bread. But it's a good taste in a good way. Okay, so let me move these things out of the way here. While I wait for my waffles to um, pop up from the toaster, I have to tell you about one of the items I suggested in the um, first episode of my spring cleaning giveaway. It didn't do very good. It's uh, the sun, um, what I thought was dishwashing um, cleaner, but it was actually clothes cleaner. Let me show you. Why I thought this was um, the uh, dishwasher cleaner, I don't know. I do know because Sun is a dishwasher cleaner. But what it was, it's it's a laundry detergent, and I put it in the the um, dishwasher. I know, stupid me. Uh, sometime I just 
amazed myself. But anyway, don't use that. It leaves a film on your dishes. Luckily, I didn't have uh, a lot of dishes in there because sometimes I do run, run the dishwasher without it being totally full. But it left a film on my plates and my um, my um, flatware and I had to wash the doll by hand just to get that film off so don't do that. Okay my Eggo waffles have um, just popped up. I don't have them on uh, a very dark setting because I didn't want I don't want them crunchy. So I'll put my dressing on both of them. Now this will make just for two sandwiches. Enough for two sandwiches. And I'll spread that on the waffles. And I'll take my uh, roasted chicken, my lettuce, and tomato slices and if I want to add um, an avocado cheese or anything else I'll um, add that now and then that's my chicken and waffle sandwich it can't get any easier than this and it's beautiful makes a beautiful plate now um, I'm gonna add my penne rosé pasta that I made uh, on a previous episode that's so very good and there I have my lunch so what we're having here is a chicken and waffle sandwich with the uh, penne rosé pasta from uh, a previous episode bon appetit don't forget to um, to enter the contest down home with the Neelys and thanks so much and I'll be uh, back with another episode of uh, Grandma Cheap Cheap thanks so much and have a great day